Here in California, there's a hullabaloo about a ballot proposition called Prop 32. It claims to fight for fair and free elections, but seem pretty cool. They don't want you to read the details, they want you to be fooled. It appears to ban corporate money and union money too, but let's dig deeper and see if it's true. Now corporate money, let's see, hmm, what it say? Only legally defined corporations won't be able to play. This technicality is a solid guarantee that elections will still be influenced by conservative money. That's a pretty large loophole that lets the 1% through. And in case you're wondering, there are no loopholes for workers like you. So who will hmm. defend against conservative plutocrats? And who will fight the right-wing super PACs? Workers will have less of a say in who gets elected. They'll just have to pray that they don't get neglected. When their retirement gets gutted and services cut, they'll just have to sell their out of love. So let's recap and see what we've learned. This proposition won't let workers be heard. It claims special interest money will come to an end, but lets companies and billionaires spin, spin, spin. So here in California, there's a big hullabaloo about a ballot proposition called Prop 32. It's time to call it like we see it. This thing is a scam. If this proposition gets passed, the middle class will get slammed.